Hi everyone, so in this video we're going to go over WooCommerce payment gateways. So once you have all your products set up and you've got the del delivery method set up, then you want to have a way for, pe for you to accept payments uh, on site um, so people can start getting their products. Um, and they have different options that you can use to do this um, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So what you want to do is once you've logged in is go into the settings tab under WooCommerce and then you want to go into the payments tab. And you can see that there's different options that you already have. So there's WooCommerce Payments, um, which is uh, very simple and they've got no monthly fees either. Um, it just allows you to accept debit cards, credit cards and other kind of popular methods like uh, PayPal, Stripe, things like that. So if you wanted to install that, um, what you want to do is just click on Install. And then it'll take you to finish the setup page. Um, so with the setup, um, you will need to share business details to kind of verify who you are but it kind of walks you through step by step what it is you need to do so you want to click finish setup and i'll take you step by step exactly what does business details uh, you need and then from that you can click uh, you can accept uh, payment with methods like visa mastercard uh, google pay apple pay things like that uh, the next few ones then you have is the uh, direct bank, bank transfer so take payments via uh, in person um, using like a wire transfer um, or you can take pay payments in the form of checks um, this is more to this would be what's known as an offline gate payment gateway so you won't actually be accepting the money uh, through your website online they will essentially send you a check or you would collect it in person somehow either they send it to you or you they come to your store things like that then you've got cash on delivery and again it's another um, offline payment gateway so essentially people can still place your uh, their order um, but they will need to pay either on delivery uh, or on collection things like that um, they're good for testing uh, the checkout process um, but I would other, otherwise recommend either using an online payment gateway um, simply because then it ensures that you are getting your money um, if it is a collect or anything like that. Um, but they also have other, WooCommerce also have other payment providers. So you can see here, discover other payment providers and it'll take you to the extension store. And some of the more popular ones would be things like PayPal payments and Stripe. So uh, Stripe will allow you to accept all major debit and credit cards as well as local uh, methods within Stripe. Um, obviously you need to set up a Stripe account. Um, but once you set up a, a Stripe account, then um, you just need to connect the two accounts together and you can start taking credit and de debit card payments. Same with PayPal payments. So obviously you need to set up a PayPal account, but then all you need to do is just log in and then that is uh, PayPal uh, ready uh, as a payment gateway so people can log into their PayPal account and pay for their order as well. Um, so these would be the two most popular ones. Um, as well as WooCommerce Payments and Square for WooCommerce. So for all of these, you would need to have your own account um, and then just connect the two. Um, there are other options. So like you've got Klarna here as well and you've got WorldPay and Klarna Checkout. So you can go through the extensions essentially and see which one you want. Um, but once you've uh, selected one, you just want to click into it. Um, and some of them are free, some of them are not. So the PayPal one is free. But you want to essentially just download the plugin that you have. Obviously, if it's a an extension that you need to pay for, you need to uh, add in your payment details, um, and then just continue to download. Um, depending on how you download it, so if you download it through WooCommerce, you would need to sort of go through, uh, make an account and things like that. You can also um, go onto the WordPress plugins directory and just type in PayPal payments or Stripe payments, and then it'll show you the available plugins that way. But once the plugin is downloaded and installed and activated, um, you can go back to the payments tab and you can see again, PayPal is now an option. Um, you wanna make sure that the pay, whatever delivery uh, payment method that you have, it's actually enabled. So right now, even though it's downloaded and installed, none of these are enabled. So you can enable them to actually show them on the cart page or the checkout page as well. Um, so you wanna just enable these like that by just clicking on the toggle. Um, if it won't let you download, so for example, um, here, so once it's uh, activated, um, all you need to do is click on the uh, the PayPal app, should automatically allow you to set up. 
So all you need to do is just click on activate PayPal and it'll just ask you to sign into your PayPal account. Um, if you have a business account, it might uh, take you a few days to verify or maybe ask for more information. But once you've connected your PayPal account, then that's it. You're free to take payment payments via the PayPal uh, plugin. Um, and what you can do is you can test payments with PayPal Sandbox. So what that means is if you want to just test out the payment method before you actually put it live and allow people to uh, buy things off your site, you can test it first, make sure there's no issues, and then you can um, add uh, remove the sandbox environment and then just have it live and have people be able to pay um, whichever way that they want. So essentially there's different options. Um, you can do the payments, um, you can do uh, PayPal, cash on delivery, things like that. It's just up to you how you essentially want to accept payments and how easy you want to make it for your customers and for yourself. Um, but essentially everything you can get is through the payments, payments tab and then you can also discover other payment providers as well.